unboxing. Yay! Uh, my order came this evening. I thought I would just go ahead and do an unboxing. It is late at night, so the lighting is kind of weird. It's because it's dark and <laughs> I had to put on some lights. There is a snowstorm going on outside right now. I am trying to stay warm and yeah, there's just a lot of things going on tonight. <laughs> oh, by the way, I do have a tutorial for this look that I'm wearing right now coming really soon or it might already be up, so I'll link it down below if it's already up. All right, let's open it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done an e.l.f. unboxing haul in a really long time, and you guys seemed really excited. I'm just blown away how <laughs> you guys get so excited when I do anything to do with e.l.f. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture, and I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a late night unboxing. You guys were like, yes, yes, yes. So thank you guys for all your enthusiasm. Here we go. Oh. If you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and that, I always let you guys know when Alphas have any 50% off their whole website. And they had a sale. I let you guys know about it. So everything I got here was like super cheap. Everything was half off. Oh, I am so excited because there's so many new things coming out from Elf. And of course, after I placed my order, they put the new baked eyeshadow trails. They're back in stock right now. It's like, well, oh well, I already placed my order. So this is a brand new HD mattifying balm. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's open it up. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this or not because it has a bunch of oils in it and mean oils, we don't get along so well. I have dry skin, but I still like my face looking very matte, so. <laughs> This compact looks just like their HD mattifying foundation. Ooh. So it comes with a nice little compact there and it's just a clear balm. So let me touch it. Ooh. It's really creamy and it is clear. We'll see how that goes. And there is a sponge in the bottom. This is the high definition powder but this is a different shade I do have the original the translucent but I've been wanting to try this one this is the corrective yellow I'm really curious to see how yellow this is I hope you guys don't mind me opening things and looking at oh wow <laughs> oh shit I swear to you guys online this is it looks like a really sheer yellow, but this is like, can you see this? It's neon! <laughs> oh, wow. This is like neon yellow. That is neon yellow. Wow. I was not expecting that at all. We'll have to see. Maybe it won't be so bad just using a really light hand. I don't know. Maybe this was a total bust. <laughs> like, yellow. Like canary yellow. Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. If you guys remember, Elf came out with some new holiday eyeshadow palettes, and I did purchase the, oh, what was it, the 18-piece one? This is the 32-piece one. Oh, look how pretty, and it's got a clear um, lid on top. Oh, ah, I gotta open this up. It's still available on their website, so if you still want to get your hands on it, I, I definitely recommend these palettes, because I think they're really good say the lighting in here is actually pretty nice <laughs> oh. by the way do you guys like my hutch here and my little tea set this stuff's all my grandma's stuff I really like it it's really pretty I hope you guys like something different in the background oh, makeup. I'm really surprised that this isn't bigger for some reason on the website this looks like it's bigger but this looks this looks like about the same size as the other one, but there's like more eyeshadows in here. Those look really great. Let's swatch a couple. Um, if you guys want me to do like a swatches tutorial all in one, let me know. Let's just swatch a couple here. Ooh, this one is really chunky. So, I don't know how good the quality is going to be, but we'll see. So here's just a few of the eyeshadows. I'm not that impressed with how some of them are swatching. They feel really uh, 
crumbly, so we'll have to give that a go. All right, so this is a backup of one of my favorite lipsticks from e.l.f. This is the, from the Essential line, it was only 50 cents. Normally they're a dollar, but 50 cents, come on. This is in the shade Nostalgic. It's one of my favorites. The other one I have is like really beat up and it's almost gone, so got a backup of that. So I thought I would get a couple of the waterproof eyeliner pens. These are from the Essential line. And they re I guess they repackaged them and reformulated them. So I thought I would give them another try. I remember trying one a really long time ago, like a couple of years ago. I didn't like it. It dried out really quick. So I picked three shades. Black one. And they're different now. They used to be all black, but now they're all white. So, I got the black one, I got the blue one, which is a teal. Ooh, look, there's the color on the cap. Ooh. And then I got this one, which is a green. It's called Hunter Green. So, I'm really curious about this blue one. Let me just open at least one of them. I really like the new packaging on these. It's really cute. And they're color-coded at the bottom, which is great. So let's see, these are uh, waterproof and it just has a felt tip on the end, but they're really like skinny, really tiny, so. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. That is pretty. So that is the shade Teal. Wow, you guys. Oh, I wish I would have purchased all of them and then I kind of like, swatched them all. Oh man, I'm so mad at myself now. Well, I wasn't sure if they would be any good, but wow. Yeah. I likey likey. Okay, I have a backup product. This is T-Rose from e.l.f. I am, uh, the other one I have broke on me and it's on its last leg, <laughs> on its last lifeline. And I also got some backups of these too. This, these are like my favorite lip glosses, you guys. Oh my goodness, if you guys missed my like best products of 2014, you have to check that video out. I'll link it below. But these were like my favorite glosses of last year. They were just awesome. So I picked up backups of Brian, which is a really nice pinky shade. Actually, uh, I used up a whole one. Like I used up the whole thing. That's why I had to buy another one. And this one is Scott. It's a really nice brown, brownie nude and they came out with a new color, yay! Oh, I'm so excited, so excited, so excited. Huh, did I mention I'm so excited? These are the extra lip glosses like the other ones I just showed you, but this is a new color, and this one is called Luke. I don't know why they just only came out with one, but this is a really, really dark vampy shade. I purchased two of them because I already know what the formula is like. Actually, you know what, you guys? I'll link down below the lip swatch video I did in review of these lip glosses. They are amazing. Check out that video so you can see what they look like on the lips. Keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to be doing a review on this. And I'm going to be reviewing the new moisturizing lipsticks. They have three new shades, and I got all three. Yay! I have the full collection already, and I already did a review and lip swatches of that. Um, again, I'll put that down below. Oh, God. I've got a lot of things to link down below for you guys. So this is called Wine Tour. Ooh, that looks pretty. And by the way, they changed their packaging. Have you guys seen that? They completely changed their packaging. This one is Crazy Cranberry. Ooh, I really love these dark, vampy colors. All right, and the last one here is Wow. <laughs> it should be called wow this is orange dream this is so bright oh boy I hope it's not that bright <laughs> I'm not too thrilled with orange lipsticks but we'll see that looks a little bit scary and I'm glad I purchased backups of these because I love these two shades so much and these are again the moisturizing lipsticks uh, this is Wink Pink, and this is a backup because I'm almost out of the other one I'm using. And this is Party in the Buff. This is a great, great nude. If you haven't tried it out, you need to try it out. This is the Eyebrow Lifter and Filler. If you remember, a long time ago, I had the shade Medium. 
or yeah medium but it was way too brown I don't know I didn't really like it so I thought I would give this a try this is in the shade light and this is what it looks like so this is like a eyebrow filler and highlighter it's a double double sided thing <laughs> so this is what it looks like so that's the color let me just see Oh yeah. Oh, that's so nice. See, the other one I had in medium, it was so dark and like orange. But this is a really nice taupey color. By the way, they're coming out with a new brow pencil from the Essential line. On one end, it has the brow, the brow product, and the other end it has a spoolie. I'm really excited about those. And then the other side is your highlighter shade. This is in the shade Ivory. <gasps> See, this is so much better, you guys. Don't get the shade Medium. I didn't like it at all. But this is nice. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so glad I got this. This is a nice, creamy, peachy nude. So that's the highlighter. Ooh, you could probably even use it as a base or an eyeshadow. And it's matte. Oh. <gasps> The other one, the medium one, is really shimmery. This has no glitter in it at all, so I am excited. I also bought a backup of my favorite, one of my favorite mineral lipsticks. You all know I love Runway Pink, but my new favorite is called Natural Nymph, and it is a really great like concealer lipstick. I love mixing this with uh, colors to lighten them or just to be creative, and it's a great... You have to have it. It's just, it's a staple. This is the Nourishing Cuticle Pen. If you haven't tried these, you don't know what you're missing. If you like doing your nails, which I like doing my own nails at home, this is amazing stuff. And since, you know, 50 cents each, I get two for the price of one because they're usually a dollar each. Avocado and almond oil. And it's just a little stick and you just run it over your cuticles. It keeps your cuticles looking moisturized and amazing. This is my favorite cuticle treatment type of thing. These are a must have so I had to buy some backups because I needed some. And I was looking on their website and I saw these nail filers and they're something new and I was like ooh I need to try it. It's something new from e.l.f. <laughs> these are their new nail filers and they come in different fun colors. Can you see that really cool python print? So I thought it was something cute to try out and I can never have enough nail filers. So this is the one in the shade Teal. Alright and last but not least I picked out three more nail polishes. I know like I really need, <laughs> I don't really need any more nail polish. I do have a video dedicated to the e.l.f. nail polishes. I have my full collection, nail swatches and everything. If you guys missed that, I will link that below as well if you want to check that out. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I gotta take the plastic off. Oh, get off of me. So this is the shade Garnet. 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 It is a beautiful, beautiful red. Like a burgundy red color. Oh, it has these beautiful shimmers. That is pretty. Can you see? Okay, there we go. I love the little bubble wrap. See how cute they wrap their nail polishes? That's so cute. Like, I like how they protect the stuff that's like glass, you know? So this is the second shade, and this one is called Twinkle Twilight. And I had to get it because of the name. <laughs> and this looks like a really pretty shimmery top coat. I'm not a big fan of glitter, but this looks really, really pretty. Oh, hello, party in a bottle. This one really intrigued me because it looks like, kind of like that oil slick, kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but, um, oh, this looks awesome. This one's called Big Bang Blue. Yes, that's what it's called. Big Bang Blue. So when you turn it in the light, it turns like different colors, like purple, blue. It has like these little teeny shimmers in there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not on camera, but wow, that is really, really cool. And this looks like something you would put over top of another color. So 
Yay! I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this e.l.f. unboxing. I'm so excited to try all these new products. Definitely expect some reviews coming soon, but you can always leave a comment down below and tell me what you want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love talking to you guys. My links are always down below. Definitely check that out. And any reviews that I've done on any of the products, I will leave links down below as well. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free, and I post videos on every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on a Sunday. I will see you all next time. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys. I'm gonna leave this in here. <laughs> My husband is making fun of me because I'm filming right now. And he keeps interrupting me. <laughs> and. No! Oh. Oh. <gasps> Babe! It picks up everything! <laughs> Just give me one minute to finish this. Fuck. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much editing to do. Goose frog, goose frog.